Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to From the Desk. Today I'm going to try you try to help you guys with increasing your output. Things that I did either back in the day or that I still do to this day to try and write more or more often. So the first thing I want to get out of the way is I don't believe in strict daily word counts. That's me. I don't believe in it. Um, it doesn't work for me it never has uh, there are plenty of people uh, more uh, analytical minded brains <laughs> than mine um, I try not to think too much about the writing process um, so having a strict word count kills my momentum um, it kills my motivation so I just don't do it if you want to do it and it works for you by all means set yourself a word count goal one of the coolest pieces of advice I've ever heard is Neil Gaiman talking about Stephen King telling him that if he only writes 300 words a day by the end of a year he'd have a full-length novel and it's correct you can do the math if you want to so um, the next thing I suggest is using an app something like Writometer um, that's what I use personally you can find several uh, uh, there's several on the Google Play Store I don't know about iTunes or any of the other stuff I personally use Google Play. Um, it all that app does well. It's a it's a very simplistic reward system. You get I think guavas or something like that, and you can use that to buy themes or whatever. It's it's superfluous. It means nothing. It's kind of like uh, whose line is it anyway? <laughs> the points don't matter. Uh, what you're trying to do is give yourself some kind of reward for hitting either you know for hitting certain word count goals or time words in a time frame which I'll get to that in just a second um, but that helps you have a self more of a sense of accomplishment for what you've done and you get to watch a chart of how your writing fluctuates and how much your how much you are writing within a certain time frame um, another thing before I move on to sprinting is uh, joining something like uh, NaNoWriMo. Uh, they have Camp NaNoWriMo in, uh, I think it's the spring. I know for certain that uh, NaNoWriMo, which is National Novel Writing Month, uh, happens in November. And all that is is you have 30 days to write a 50,000 page book. Now Camp NaNoWriMo, you can set your word count to whatever you want to write a novella, a short story, whatever you can do that and then the at the end of November when you do NaNoWriMo the uh, the base uh, 50,000 words they have you return to it in January which is something I suggest also if you're going to be writing put it away and then come back to it um, after you write something else we'll get to that more uh, sprinting is very it, it works very well when trying to boost your output um, Nothing, no, nothing any good is built in a day or in one writing session. Um, you, you have to build something over a course of time. And with sprinting, that gives you a sense of accomplishment. Because if you only write 300 words the first time, maybe you write more or less the second time. But that more or less is still at least one more word than you had at the beginning of the sprint. I suggest sprinting for 30 minutes and no more than an hour. Um, hour you start hitting that fatigue area. Um, 15 minutes for me seems a little, it, it seems like I start to hit my flow right about that time. Um, right at the 5, 10, 15 minute mark is right when I start really getting into what I'm writing. And then I burn through another, you know, at least 15 to 20 minutes after that. Uh, but I always set the timer for 30 minutes. If I go over, that's fine. But I, I try to never go under. I try to never stop. Um, and that helps a lot. I am a pantser. Um, I know there's a lot of there's a lot of back and forth about whether you need to be a plotter or a pantser, but it really is it, it's all up to you. Um, with me, sprinting helps because I just sit down and I'm like, okay, I am going to word vomit for this amount of time. I'm not going to edit. I'm not going to spell check. I'm not going to do anything else. I'm only going to write for those 30 minutes. Okay. Um, another important task to get you back to work the next day. Once again, nothing. You, if you if you manage to write a novel in a single day, I want you to holler at me and tell me how. Because the most words I've ever written is twenty seven thousand words, and that's novella territory. It's not a novel. So, no book is written in a single day, and you need to keep that motivation into the next day. So, how do you do that? 
how I do it is I always leave something unwritten. I always leave off on, on a thought or a scene. I never complete a scene because completing a scene for me feels like I've made it somewhere, that I have achieved something, and I don't want to feel that way until I get done with the book. Um, I don't stop between projects either. If I have just finished, a, not, not to say I don't take breaks, that is, that is untrue. I take breaks every now and again. I'll take like a week off here, a month off there, whatever. But I, I'm still writing. I mean, let's be honest. I'm still on social media, still doing something. I'm just not working on any big projects. Um, I'm always putting words down. But, but, <laughs> continuing on, if I finish a novel, I jump automatically, even that day, the same day that I finish a novel, I type the end, I open up another Word doc, and I start writing. I, whatever comes out, comes out. It may be a short story, novella, novel, whatever, unless I'm contractually obligated to write something, and then that's the thing that I'll write next. Um, but I will jump straight into the next thing, and then once I have enough that I feel comfortable that I can leave off and that the flow is working and that the story is going somewhere, um, I will either slow down or I will take a little bit of break if I need one. Sometimes I don't need one. I've written five novels back to back to back without stopping at one point in time. That's my, that's the most. And then I wrote some short stories in between there. Uh, not novella here and there. Which is another thing I want to bring up. The very next topic of discussion is going from longer works to shorter works. Uh, I highly recommend, um, and this I, got, I stole directly from Stephen King. Um, and it works a wonder. <laughs> As soon as you're done with a novel, a long project, whether it be novella or novel, go ahead and jump right into a short story or a novelette, either one of those things. Um, you, you don't want any downtime, so that's the, but the easiest way to go from you know, one project to another is to go from a long to a short. That way, you have all that time that you have sunk into the longer work, if you go from that sense of accomplishment, finishing that directly into a short story, you can fool your brain into those two things equaling each other. Um, so you follow very quickly, you follow one accomplishment with another, and then that'll carry all the way over into hopefully the next longer project. Um, don't force anything, so don't force that routine. What I suggest is having it be natural. Whatever that second thing is after the novel, if it's another novel, that's okay too. Just don't lose the motivation along the way. If you get stuck, I guess I've said many times in this series, I don't believe in writer's block. If you get stuck on one project, open up another project and just start working on that and always, always return and finish that other one. I don't care how bad it is. I don't care if you have to write, if, if you thought it was going to be a 100,000 word novel and it's only 30,000 words and you wrap it up in 5,000 and have a 35,000 word novella that was supposed to be 100,000, that's fine. At least you ended it. Finish it up, get it done, put it away. Then come back to it. Maybe it's worth revisiting. Um, when I talked about my cannibalism, when I... In my cannibalism episode, I talked about going back to something I had written 10 years ago. And that was something that was supposed to be a much larger project. Ended up, I wrapped it up very shortly, and uh, I moved on. 10 years later, I ended up using that material. Finally, to increase your output, I would suggest writing in other genres. Um, nothing is better than fresh material. If you're a horror writer, try writing a romance, a comedy, a sci-fi, a fantasy, whatever. Um, if you're, well, any genre, really. You know, I always fall back on horror because that's my roots. Um, but I do write much more than horror. I just don't write it under this name. Um, let's see here. I, those are all my notes. So if you have any questions, um, if you have any tips, especially if you have any tips for uh, aspiring writers, for veterans, anything that I didn't mention here, or if you want to discuss what I mentioned here, do all that down there in the comments below. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you, this has been another From the Desk. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.